The RSI Apollo is a new medical ship. It's from RSI, which didn't get a new ship in a long while. We have two medical ships at the moment announced in the game, which is the Cutlass Red, which is basically the ambulance in our game, and the Endeavour with its hospital module, which is really massive and really end game. So we needed something in between. We had quite a short timeline on this one for a medium ship. And so really early on, I did a quick sketch of the interior, passed it to a um, concept artist and was like something like this. And it kind of stuck basically. Um, and it works well with RSI styling. The ship still has its flow, you know, it's still quite sleek and sexy, but you know, it's, it's got all that, it's got that, all that angularness to it. It's like a Lamborghini, turn it into a spaceship. The RSI Apollo is basically like a small clinic that you can go to the edge of space. This has a capacity of six patients with six beds, uh, a crew of two at the front with two ejection beds. And it has a size two turret on the top of the ship at the rear, which is more a point defense turret rather than something made for dogfights or anything. And this is a remote turret. It has also 28 SCU of cargo at the back. And then you've got medical bay space. It's always that sort of fine line between sort of reality sci-fi and gameplay. So it's okay, we need to basically spawn a player here, but we don't want him popping in. So the player will be delivered. There's a glass cover on top, sort of um, protecting the, the player. The thought process is that we'll have essentially like an, an opaque glass when there's nobody in it. And then you'll, you'll hear noises and probably lights will come on and the thing the bed will activate and then a person will arrive. The glass turns you know, transparent and you're like, okay, that, you know, the bed's occupied. At least that's how we've developed it at the moment. It's kind of like a self-healing unit. So you'll have a, a disc that, that scans, scans the person, finds out what's wrong with them, heals them, and then, then it opens up and off they go. And so with this ship, you'll be able to pick up people, fix people up, shove them back out the door, you know, so it, it can be, you know, obviously there'll be medical gameplay. That we plan is even if regular ships can do something with medical gameplay, or uh, like a player could help other people in the future, you will need medical ships if you want really to pursue the medical career in the game. And the final result, really happy with it. And it's just sort of going through it basically. And so that's just been a process of refinement, just pushing and pushing and, okay, add this, tweak this, you know, all the lines. Generally, you know, you generally try and avoid parallel lines. We've worked hard to do a good layout that will please every player and that is really aesthetically pleasing as well. So I think this is a really good ship and this is bringing new kind of gameplay, so it looks good. Do you know what, I kind of like playing the medic often. So, you know, I, who, I'm not quite sure how this will turn out in our game, you know, but I just want to see it, just want to see it in game and just, you know, uh, and we just want to see what players do with it. But I think, um, I, you know, I can't wait to see, you know, whole, you know it's, it's not going to be like the red arrows, but you can just imagine, you know, just a whole fleet of these guys just taking off and just uh, going off. Um, just rescuing people or, or you know you can imagine just um, jumping in massive space battle debris everywhere bodies just sort of floating about you know and then just in you know all the drones just popping out and scooping up the people and popping them into the base of the ship I think it, it could make for a very nice visual as well